Okay, so you are downloading a PDF file and you're wondering why is it that when you print it, it's not the size you expected. Maybe it's a little bit smaller, a little bit larger. Whatever the case may be, it's not the size you need. And uh, what happened is, is that you downloaded the file and uh, you uh, didn't change a couple of things that make it look a little bit better. I'm going to this website and I'm going to find the PDF to download. I know that it's here somewhere. I have a special link. And here it is right here. Download the PDF file here. I'll click here to get this particular one. Obviously, you get whatever file you want to get, whatever PDF you're printing. And if you just click on it regularly, this is what's going to happen. Is that your browser, in this case, this is a uh, Chrome browser, it's just going to open it right up. And if you try to print this, it's not necessarily going to work. So what you want to do is to download it into your machine. In this case, with the uh, Box.com website, there is a download button. I'll click on that. And uh, I'll look for my download folder. Mine is right here, Downloads. And just save it. This is the St. Louis Star Foundation pattern. It's an Adobe Acrobat document. All that means is that this is a PDF file. I'll click on Save. And since I am using Chrome, I do get an option to just go straight into the download folder from this corner. I have a little carrot here that I can click. And although you can't see it, it's giving me the option to show in folder. I want to click Show in folder. And it opens up my Downloads folder. What I need to do here then is double click on the PDF file to open it. And I have the uh, Acrobat Reader. And it's telling me that this is the file and I could look at it different ways. I can, I can make it larger, I can make it smaller. No matter how many times uh, you, uh, you change the size as you're viewing it, this is not going to affect how it's going to print. The, uh, the printing process is what's going to uh, take care of that. I'm going to click on File and Print. I know you, you probably can't see it, but there's a Control P right here. You can also just press the Control P keys. And I'm going to get a dialog. This dialog will tell me that it's going to print it to this particular printer. Uh, this is my home printer. And it's going to try to print it at actual size. So this is the selection that I actually want to use. Actual size, that means that it will not reduce it. If you have a fit option, that will make the page smaller so that it can fit on your printer. If you click on shrink oversized pages, the same thing will happen. It will change the size. If you change anything at all, and I recommend that you don't, would be to make sure that any number that is other than 100, as in 100%, stays at 100%. I'll click on actual size, which is 100%, and then uh, find my uh, print, which is uh, below here in the screen, and just tell it to print at that stage, and that will print at 100%. Let me close this now. And if you do not want to download and or you can't find your file but you already have it open in your browser you may also be getting a menu like this that tells you that uh, you have several options you can enlarge it so you can see a little bit better you can zoom out so that you can see it in the page and it tells you that it's a four page document you're right now looking at one out of four pages and then there's a printable version this has a little icon with a printer if i click on that this will actually open up another browser within the browser that tells me this is what the uh, PDF actually looks like. And I have another menu up here. One of the icons on top is a printer that will allow us to print. If I click on this print, that is if you did not download the file, but you're dealing with it straight from the browser, you can still salvage a print from here. If I were to click on the Save button, it would just save it as a PDF all over again. And the reason why I'm seeing this is because I actually have an option for a printer that will print a PDF rather than a regular printer. So I'm going to change my destination instead of uh, saving another PDF. Click on Change. It'll show me what my options are. This is my uh, HP printer. Now I get a different dialog that will actually allow me to print on paper. 
the destination stays the same, HP, Office Jet, whatever your printer may be, it may be different. Maybe you have a Canon, maybe you have something else. Uh, color if you want color, paper, size, letter. This is a letter size document. And very important here, it says fit to page. If you have this check marked, then it will actually make it smaller so that it can fit on the page. What you want to do is uncheck it. You see it got a little bit larger and then that way whenever you print this document it will be the size that you needed. I hope that maybe these instructions help you a little bit. Uh, there's I'm sure other options uh, out there on the internet where you can probably find directions that could help you.